Wow. It's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. He's Sorry, I need a moment. <clears throat> All right. And we were talking about... We were talking about Asav. Oh, right. His guards may be idiots, but Asav is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Huh. I'll be right back. Right. Where were we? Um, yeah. So anyway, practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised the sword's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly then. Give me a second. I can wait. Time to go. I'll be right back. You got it. Let's go. Look there. One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place.
Look up there. Parashurama's bow. So, Parashurama. 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 Right. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Trained in the martial arts by Shiva himself, but only after conquering the whole world to convince him of his worthiness. <laughs> and I thought I had it bad. This should do the trick. Okay. Going, going, go! Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. I sh wish I'd brought my gloves. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. Hey, who's there? It's ah, Fraser! Shit. Don't stop. Keep moving. Fraser, get down! Oh, oh shit! You cannot take us all down! That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. Here come the others!
Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. That was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. Would have preferred a head start over a sob. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. What is it? A shrine? Don't think so. Don't see any deities hanging about. Let's find a way up. Follow me! See us. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asav himself. Uh, I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. Mine was never on. every inch of this place. Uh, 
This should be fun. Oh. <laughs> That's it. The site is secure. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. No, it's opening that gate. Perfect. That should do it.
Well, you made it across at least. Damn it. See another way over here? Sit tight. Or stand. Stand tight. Copy that. <laughs> Your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Okay, <sighs> 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 guess this isn't the way in. Having fun? Nearly there. Made it. Impressive. Thanks. Come on.
Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysala jigsaw puzzle? Of course, I'm making a bow. Look at that. Parasharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh. Huh. Huh. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysala Empire was kind of his thing. <sighs> Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go... Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. What, you should know? Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort above the waterfalls might be worth a visit. And possibly that fort on that mountain. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. <laughs> Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good.
Okay, that's not it. <sighs> no, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. about you. That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. You. <coughs> Only one left. Last but not least, that should do it. Okay, back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Big wheel thing works. Right, I did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. I do. <laughs> <laughs> There's our faucet. Now then, I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier.
Prince Ganesh. Hello, sir. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, whoa. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. What? I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Marcel, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Well, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, the statue moved again. Oh, turns out getting walloped by an axe hurts a little. I'll bet. You all right? Yeah, all in a day's work. No better way to learn than on the job. I'd rather watch the master. Flattery gets you everywhere. Also rather not get hit by an axe. I think that's what you did last time. I think you're right. I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Watch out for the axe! Did I get you? No. No? 
Maybe. Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <gasps> oh shit, statue moved <sighs> again. Careful. I don't like the looks of this. I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Watch out for the axe! Did I get you? No. No? Maybe. <clears throat> oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two <laughs> different symbols now. A star? And rings. They're all Voicelar sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better. <laughs> ah! Near miss there! <laughs> oh. Turns out getting walloped by an axe hurts a little. I'll bet. You all right? Yeah, all in a day's work. Close shave! I think that's what you did last time. I think you're right. Whiz by making progress. I got it. Right. Got it. Come on over. Nice. Right behind you. Ah. Uh, figured we had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in threes. Huh? We'll see. Try 
Eliza, you're starting to repeat yourself. Mm, creature of habit. Oh, so good. You see the symbol on the pillars and the symbol on the axe are the same? I did. Share. Let's make an axe. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Both the middle and inside pieces seem to move the outside ring.
Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Let there be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. If you want to look anywhere else out there, now's the time to do it. Right. Hey, let's poke about. Right behind you. All righty, let's roll. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. <gasps> oh, hold on. Let's hit pause on this. Coming? Yeah, I'm in. Come on. I'd love a second set of eyes. Copy that. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Ugh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> oh my god. You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away, just be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice.
I'm just going to take a look around. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you for your indulgence. Here we go. Coming. <laughs> you bet. Let's get out of here. What are you supposed to take to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. What the hell? Oh, well, that's what I'm talking about. Can't say I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. <laughs> 